Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be using these new Huda Beauty, what are these called, neon palettes I think? Um, I got the pink obsessions and the orange obsessions. Um, these are super beautiful palettes, I'm super excited to try them. So if you want to see the look I come up with, then just keep watching. Okay, so these are so freaking pretty. The colors in there oh my gosh that was the orange obsessions and then this is the pink and it's got like pink and purple i don't know which one to use because they're both so pretty i feel like i'm gonna probably use the purple or maybe a little bit of both okay so actually i'm gonna start off with the the orange palette and i'm gonna take this orange shade right there and i'm gonna take off this little plastic thingy mabobber maybe It'll let me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little. A little bit. A lot of bit. I feel like I look really tired. Probably because I am, but. So yeah, we're gonna go in with that orange shade and I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques brush. I don't know. Okay. And put that in the crease. I've got concealer on my eyelids but we're just gonna wipe it away okay so far not showing a lot of pigment but let me grab a little bit more okay there we go that's a little bit better I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for I'm just winging it basically I was really excited to use these so we're just gonna come up with something I really want to get some new eye brushes. I feel like I don't really have a lot of good ones. Don't mind my hair, it is, it's looking real crazy, but I didn't feel like doing anything with it, so that's why it's up, but yeah. Okay, so that color is pretty. It's weird because like I've been pushing in the pan and I feel like you can't really tell. Like, there's not really, what's that called? There's not really powder anywhere. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so next, I think I'm going to go in with that even brighter orange up here. And I'm going to take that in the crease, too. Gosh, I feel like there's so many different looks I want to do with these. Ooh, this one looks crazy. Ooh. I keep looking to make sure my camera is actually recording because lately it keeps playing games with me and it just randomly shuts off so I keep making sure. We're going to go in with this purple shade right here and we're just going to put that on the inner and outer and try to do like a halo type of eye. Um, I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk brush I don't know but ooh I like this color ooh that is super super pretty ooh I like that a lot But yeah, this is gonna, this looks kind of messy right now, but it'll all come together once I blend it. But wow, that shade is really, really pretty. I wanted the green palette, but I don't know if I'd really use that one very often, but I've seen some really pretty looks with it, so I feel like I may get that one too, but I don't know. I feel like even with just these two, there's a lot of looks that you can create, so, but... 
I feel like I'm definitely not as good with my left eye as I am with my right. The right one's so much easier for me. This one's a little challenging. Okay, so for in the middle of our eye, I think I'm gonna go in with that beautiful orangey shade. And I'm just gonna go in with my, I'm just gonna go in with my finger because I feel like with Huda's shadows, they just perform a lot better with your finger than with a brush. And I feel like my brushes honestly suck that I have right now anyway, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with my finger on that shade. It looks so freaking pretty. Ooh, super, super sparkly. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I feel like it is kind of sheer, like you have to put, you know, go in back into it a couple of times, but wow, that is such a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. Ooh, yep, yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, I cannot get over how gorgeous that color is. And it almost looks like glossy, like wet. I love that. Wow. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and just kind of blend everything together. Kind of, you know, clean up my messiness. Wow. Okay, so I was going to try to use both of these palettes, but I feel like I really like that one. Um, what color could we use from this? Ooh, that shade is so... Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I want to do a look with that too. Ooh, maybe... Ooh, I think I'm going to use that color and put it underneath my... I'm going to put that color on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take that really beautiful lavender purple and I'm going to put that under my lash line. I feel like the packaging of these are enough to want to buy them. Like this packaging is just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my hair looks nuts, but it's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go in with that lavender shade and just put that right on the lower lash line. Okay, so it's not like the most vibrant color. Um, it is really pretty, but it's not showing up a whole, whole lot. Um, it'd probably work better if I just like maybe try to pat it in a little bit. But I think it might be better if I try to use it next time like all over the lid or something. But I don't know. Does it look like I'm sick? Probably. Maybe I should add. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of this purple right there as well to it to kind of just add some color because that's coming up, but not a whole lot. There we go. Yeah, that came. That's a lot more pigmented. Ooh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> okay, so for the inner corner, I feel like all these, ooh, should I put that green color? Would that be too crazy? I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it because I feel like, I don't know. <gasps> you guys, I'm just so excited. There's These colors are so beautiful. Ooh, that color is really pretty too, though. Or that purpley right there. I feel like I kind of want to do a green. Am I crazy? We're going to do a green. We're going to do that green. I don't even know if it's going to show up very well. I feel like that's the color I swatched in store. Ooh, okay. That is nice. But yeah, I'm just going to take my pinky and just kind of stamp it. Hopefully not regret using it. Oh, okay. It's not like as crazy as it looks, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like it's not as crazy as it looks. That is pretty though. Ooh. 
Ooh, yep. That's pretty, I gotta say. I really like that. All right, I'm gonna pop, I'm not gonna do lashes. I'm gonna just put some mascara on really quick and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts and everything on these palettes. Okay, so first of all, don't mind, I like scratched myself and of course my skin freaked out because my skin freaks out about everything. But anyways, okay, so these palettes, I've got to say, are amazing. Um, like I said, the packaging on these is just, I can't even say enough how much I love it. Um, I'm all about that bright neon and these colors, oh my goodness, like I said, I feel like there's so many different looks you could create with this. Um, I'm super excited to keep using these and just, you know, use all the colors. I feel like for me, these kind of colors really help my eyes pop because I do have brown eyes. Some of the mattes weren't as vivid or pigmented as I was expecting, but I mean, they are, you could build them up so like it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I do like how there isn't a lot of fallout, like there wasn't any fallout, I don't think. Yeah, there wasn't any fallout on my eyes or there wasn't any fallout underneath my eyes. There wasn't any, there wasn't powder all over the palette. So yeah, but the look I did with these is actually really pretty. I am freaking obsessed with that shimmer shade. And I feel like all Huda's shimmer shades are freaking incredible. So but yeah, I really like these. Um, if you're looking for a palette to just with some fun little colors, and I wanna say these aren't badly priced, like 26 or $28, somewhere in that range, but so I feel like it's really not that bad if you want just like a little palette to keep if you want to pop a color every now and then. But anyways, but yeah, these are super pretty. Um, I love them and I can't wait to make more looks with these palettes. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.